I will uh, present uh, um, model joint work with uh, Alessandro Sarti. Uh, he already has uh, presented, so I just make the second um, second part of this joint work. And uh, um, I will uh, start from this uh, to give some uh, um, PDE and uh, some properties of the PDE we have uh, uh, studied in uh, this model. So he has already shown this uh, uh, famous uh, Canitza triangle and uh, in this Canitza triangle we have at least two perceptual problems. One is the completion of the boundaries since here there are no boundaries in the image here and here but our visual system is able to detect these uh, subjective boundaries. But uh, there is not only this, so this is the problem um, of boundary completion, but we also see that this, uh, yeah? Sorry, I had a question also when Alessandro showed it and I forgot to So is the triangle with straight edges there? If, if, if it wasn't there, would we see the white? Uh, yeah, we would, uh, yeah, would I have one, one at the end. For it to be there for us to no, 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 we can no. see, I have one at the end. So I can show you. Okay, sorry, I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh, this one. So you see the triangle. This is black, but I the same great. thing. <laughs> okay, so you probably see it better with the other inductors, but you can see it okay. anyway. I was wondering where the curve was different from straight. Yeah, the, the yeah. main reason why you see it curved is because these inductor have this uh, shape in this direction, and the only way you can connect them is it's by. Only one of them you don't guess. The no, but indeed, uh, this is one of the problems he was uh, uh, pointing out this morning. So the, um, the problem of perception is not a local problem. So what you are pointing out is, if we look at the whole triangle at the same time with these three inductors, then we perceive the triangle. If we look at this point here, if we look at another point, if we far from the center, then we tend to see a Pac-Man here instead of a triangle. And if we only have two Pac-Man, then it's very difficult to see the, and we probably do not, do not perceive. And so this is, uh, this was, was, I was trying to say at the end, <laughs> but this, we see that this is why I'm, here presented a PDE, so PDE instruments and instrument of edge detection and all that. But then the instrument which uh, Alessandro presented this morning, which are global, have to, to be uh, used together with these local instruments in such a way to have a, a global uh, model which can take into account both local and global. Uh, aspects. So, going back to the first slides, <laughs> uh, I wanted to say that here we have this, not only the problem of boundary completion, which can be curved, but also the problem of the fact that this triangle here appears to be uh, more white than the um, background. But it is not. It is exactly of the same color. So if we look at this point here, we see that it is the same black. It is the same white. So there is no um, um, change of color in the physical image. This change is made by our visual system. Um, and this is why we will take into account two problems. The problem of contrast in the image and the problem of boundary completion. And this uh, is uh, the first attempt to put together the role of two families of images. This uh, morning Alessandro has explained as the behavior of a single family of cells, and I will f f rapidly recall it, but then we have a second family of cells, so the point is 
how can we try to put together this in a unique model. So I just, this small list, I don't want to go through this whole list, I put here a list of authors who presented different models of the visual cortex. And, uh, okay, <coughs> this is a very schematic, uh, um, oh, sorry, a very schematic uh, uh, presentation of what we already, of uh, Alessandro already told us, and it is strictly connected also uh, with what, um, with the last speech, since uh, here the brain uh, this is a very, very schematic model of the brain. Over each retinal point XY, we have a whole fiber of cells coding different features. Here, for simplicity, I put orientation since we spoke about orientation this morning. But this can be color, which we see contrast and other feature. And in presence of an image, this is an image, so is an visual input, the whole fibers of cells will fire over this point. So this firing is very much similar to the uh, transform uh, we have uh, seen uh, just one minute ago. And the whole, we have an, out an output in this uh, cortical higher dimensional space, which in case we consider the angle is x, y, theta, or can be another one. So we have a function which is this output of a three or more values with real um, values. And this function is due to the action of the whole hypercolumn. But inside of this hypercolumn, we have another uh, mechanism which selects the, the cells which fire most. And in this way, from this, output we find a surface. So it makes sense either to study directly this function or this surface. And for simplicity I will, fo I will focus on first of all on this surface we um, have detected in this way. So this uh, first mechanism is the mechanism which is obtained directly from each cell which receive an input from the retina. And after that, there is a second mechanism of which we had uh, spoken also this morning, which is uh, um, due to the connectivity. And so the total activity is uh, uh, obtained after this by this uh, um, connectivity. The first family of cells uh, to which I would like to say a word is uh, the uh, LGN. Over each point we have a symmetric cells, you see it as this shape, and uh, this shape is the, uh, the Laplace of a Gaussian, so it has almost approximately this uh, feature and it is modeled as a Laplacian of a Gaussian. And uh, the mechanism described before, at every point of the image, so we have one copy of this over each point of uh, the retina, and uh, the output uh, at every point after the, um, the selection of maxima is the Laplacian of the image at every point. So this is a very, very schematic representation of the previous mechanism. And after that, we said that a second mechanism is the propagation of the activity. And this propagation is made along the cortical connectivity. Now, this cortical connectivity uh, is exactly due to the axons and that uh, we saw a couple of minutes ago. And this connectivity in this special structure is uh, totally isotropic. So it has the shape of a logarithm of a Gaussian. And this would they have, can be measured. But what we really would like to point out is that here we, ha we are we have a copy of this over each point. So the set of cells is really a copy of R2. So we are in a Euclidean group with everything symmetric. 
and the connectivity is the fundamental solution of the Laplace, the standard for, um, Euclidean Laplace operator in 2D. So the, um, the, this low um, level of the cortex, we try to select a group and try to deduce from the group many properties both of the cells and of its connectivity. In this case, the connectivity is, Laplace is the fundamental solution of the Laplace operator and the total activity is obtained by convolution of this fundamental solution with the output. And this, by definition, means that the Laplace of the activity is equal to the Laplace of the uh, image. I want to uh, remark that this does not make, mean that the activity and the image are the same. It means uh, that the um, activity and the image different, differ from a harmonic function. And so I repeat here the same formula as before and I put a Neumann boundary data. And this is an example because this equation, which can be considered the minimum of the Dirichlet uh, function, also uh, appears while studying the uh, Retinex model. So this is uh, another image uh, of Kanitsa, and when you look at this image, you perceive, probably you perceive this circle here, more black more than this one. But indeed, they are the, of the same, uh, the, the same color. The, the main reason why we perceive them as if they were different is because the background is not constant. The background here is increasing from here where it is light gray to here where it is almost black and we do not perceive the real uh, intensity of color but we perceive the contrast with respect to the background. So this problem here, to this, you start with this image and subtract to this image a harmonic function. In this case, you can subtract this constant gradient, which has Laplace and zero, and you end up with a background with constant so the background has Neumann boundary data and so if you make this subtraction automatically this becomes more black than this white here. So this has been proposed by different authors which I have listed here, Land, McCann, Kimmel, uh, Morel and others to be a model of uh, um, this uh, contrast um, retinex model. And so this is more similar to our perception in presence of this image. And this approximately means that uh, um, the um, mechanism and the behavior of uh, the LGN symmetric cells is responsible for contrast. As for the um, simple cell, we have already seen this morning that they are this uh, very directional shape. This is somehow also similar to the um, wave that you have introduced before. And uh, the group of simple cell is SE2. So over each point we have a whole fiber obtained by rotation and the same is repeated over each point. So the group here is the Lie group of uh, rotation and translation. And what we have uh, tried to see, and we have already um, seen this morning, that the whole structure of connectivity and shape of cells and everything is inherited uh, by the fact, is strictly connected by the fact that this group is uh, the group of uh, rotation and translations. The set of uh, um, the action of the cells we say that over each point assume that this is an image over each point this is the tangent direction we said that uh, 
So since it is the tangent direction, it has this expression, cosine of theta the x plus sine theta the y. And the action of the simple says is to associate to this point another point uh, with the same over the, this point x, y, but the cell which was firing most has the coordinate theta related to this angle. So this curve, blue curve, which is through the retinal one, is lifted to a cortical curve, which is tangent to two vector fields in a three-dimensional space. So this is a structure we have seen this morning. We have seen that this is a nice uh, model for the um, and it's very well comparable with association fields. So I apologize because this is, there is a lot of math, so I'm sorry for people which are not mathematicians. But uh, uh, here I'm trying to list.